Fox 5 Health News, and we told you earlier that the boys and the soccer coach have all been rescued in Thailand. Well, now, after more than two weeks trapped in a flooded cave, the road to recovery, of course, begins mentally and physically. That's right. Joining us now, Fox 5 medical contributor Dr. Debbie Nampia Parample from the NYU School of Medicine. The good news is they were young, they seem to be hardy and resilient, but there's still a long way to go before we can feel perfect about the prognosis going sure, forward. Sure, exactly. Yeah. Like you said, both physical and psychological problems mm -hmm. can still come up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, they weren't exposed to light. They, the temperature in those caves might have been extremely cold, right? So your body changes under those circumstances. The organs can only function in sort of a limited temperature range. And so with all of these different changes and without light, their immune system might have gotten affected. Some of their other organs might have gotten compromised. Right. So the issue there is, you know, that can be, that usually can get better over time once people get back to normal circumstances but especially with the immune system you know they're susceptible to infection and that's what they were saying they were susceptible perhaps to certain infections and um, it, uh, scars and sores and all that stuff exactly especially in caves I mean think about bats and other things that can be present there sure. so you don't have to necessarily see the bat but in these droppings there are different types of fungi totally that toxic. might be there the mold right. that you breathe yeah. in especially under these kinds of um, humid conditions in the and dark stuff. Like exactly said. right yeah. and so so especially with psychological issues too, even once you've escaped, initially you might feel relief, but then you might still have flashbacks and other things. So this is within the normal range. It is normal to kind of feel anxious about PTSD like from this would be major uh, trauma. Yeah. For sure. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but altogether, what a what an inspirational story that they were saved. Right? You have no idea. That is the good we news, were right? Reeling we won't dwell too much, weeks. but uh, you know, not done yet. A long road ahead. All right. Well, in the city that never sleeps, a new report finds that nearly half of New Yorkers are battling insomnia, and they also eat way too much takeout food <laughs> that is particularly specific to here because it's so easy to order everything and you get lazy and you just do it exactly I mean I do it too I mean this is more about New York City perhaps mm -hmm. right but also it was that uh, that a lot of people watch more than three hours of screen time so it may all link together right yeah. we know that people if they sit in front of let's say a screen that they are more hungry a lot of times so they're mm -hmm. more likely to eat more takeout is a lot more convenient at that time and then on top of that the screen sometimes with the lights depending on what screen you're using, you may be more likely to have insomnia. Yeah. Some of it may be work-related also. Sure. Uh, but the study looked at a couple other things so, too. So some other things went up over time. Basically, people's weight tended to go up over the past 15 or so years. You know, diabetes rates kind of increased. So it's not necessarily directly related to the screen time and the other things, but um, but all of these things may be linked together. That the the changes, the demographics, what everything's happened sort of to city life stress? <laughs> Broken. An MTA. I mean, there are so many yeah. things. Yeah. You know, getting to work is right. Kinda, of on course. the screen time, looking at everyone's yeah. fake life, feeling bad about yourself. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Time. Well, exactly. I mean, but on the positive side for the city, we do have a lot of parks. We do have a lot of people that walk a lot more in the MTA. It is active subway, here. That so is the thing. A lot of people don't too. deal with cars. You know, yeah. the, the lifestyle is a little different. Yeah, <laughs> likely to walk around. That's the good news. But it's tough to overcompensate, right? How easy it is to get food delivered, late night hours, etc., yes. etc. Et exactly. It can stack up quick. All right. Gotcha. All right, Doctor. So much. Makes Thank sense you. to me. Lovely to see you.